As we just mentioned, on the day Congress was in session to count the Electoral College vote, confirming the 2020 election for President-elect Joe Biden, hundreds of pro-Trump protesters stormed the U.S. Capitol building in a bid to overturn the election. New at 10, our Nightbeat reporter Rob Hagan has the expanded story from the local pro-Trump protest that occurred earlier today. He stands by live with more details. Rob? Jillian, what started as hundreds of Trump supporters flooding Main Street at downtown Grand Junction this morning ended with more than a dozen practicing a peaceful protest right outside our federal courthouse building. But unlike the violence our nation's Capitol building saw earlier today, which is the symbol for free government for the free world, our city streets saw peaceful protests. And I was there to capture the message. <laughs> The intersection at 4th Street and Route Avenue in Grand Junction at the Federal Court Building may be where a peaceful pro-Trump protest took place, but it can also be a metaphor for the crossroads our country has come to. You're seeing a movement that has not happened in any of our lifetimes. This movement started Wednesday morning where hundreds gathered in the city streets of downtown addressing the government for grievances. And it ended with over a dozen strong addressing the results of the Electoral College count. This whole election was a fraud and uh, there's veterans like myself who gave a lot for America and we're going to give it all if we have to. This group of Trump supporters has a message and they also have a leader. We're not going to just uh, roll over and, and move into socialism. Uh, no, we're not going to and we're going to fight. But unlike the violence that took place in our nation's capital, the symbol of free government itself, the streets were peaceful in front of the federal court building sharing the same symbol. We're not here to cause violence or disruption. We're not BLM and we're not Antifa. We're patriots. A group of peaceful protesters have gathered at the federal building on the intersection of 4th and Rude, and they're practicing their First Amendment right and their Second Amendment as well. AR-15. And their goal, public awareness. This should be taken up in the Supreme Court. We've got a precedent of the 1876 election, and a committee is allowed 10 days, five House members, five senators, five Supreme Court justices to expose the fraud in this election. How would you say that the media is a bunch of liars? Police say four people died at the Capitol building today. One woman was shot by police and three others died in medical emergencies, according to the Associated Press. But here in Grand Junction, the streets were peaceful because our opinions may vary, but we're all neighbors. First on the Western Slope and live at the Federal Courthouse building in downtown Grand Junction, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Jillian. Thank you, Rob. In local elections, council